Let's take it back to basics and we'll do an oil change on our MGB. Now this is a 77, so it's the rubber bumper. Um, you may have a type that has more of a canister, but let's get into it here. Pretty much for what we need here, I got a pan. I have a uh, three quarter inch socket for the drain pan. I have an oil filter. Uh, I've been using the Purelator, PL14670. That fits real good on the 18V engines. And you'll need some 2050 motor oil. And I'm going to add in some zinc. Uh, oil treatment has zinc in it that, you know, they say is better for these old engines. Now, what I'm going to do next is jack it up a little bit in the front so we can get in there to the oil pan uh, easier. So to jack up the B, Easiest thing to do is to get your trolley jack under the cross member towards the back side of the car in the front here. And I've already rolled mine in. Lock it up. And uh, we'll pump it up a bit here. Okay, and then for safety, I'm sliding these jack stands underneath the front as well. And, uh, you know, I get, of course, I'm leaving the tires on, so all these safety measures to not get crushed. All right, now I've got all kinds of cardboard around and put that underneath because, you know, you're invariably going to spill something. So we just need to get, here's our drain plug. I see this one is dripping a little bit, so we'll try to get a new copper washer on there. Uh, three quarter inch socket. And you can see this is on the back side of the oil pan, so that's why I'm not too worried about uh, the front end being tipped up a little bit. Uh, I will probably jack up the back just to get anything else out. Uh, we'll check that out. We'll just put it on. I did take the car for a nice rip about an hour ago, and that gets all the oil hot. And that's not too hot. It's pretty warm on my fingers though. How's it looking? Pretty good. See it's not too dark. So I'm pretty happy with the oil. Uh, this has actually been a year since I changed it, but probably only a thousand miles. Okay, so here's our oil filter down here. Now, I forgot to mention uh, most filter wrenches, like the one I have, don't fit around this massively wide uh, MGB oil filter. So right now I'm cleaning my hands off, and hopefully I didn't put it on too tight. Okay, I'm back with gloves. And there's always a plan B, remember. Ah! Got it with gloves. So plan B would have been to stick an awl or a screwdriver right in, just tap it right into your filter and then use that to get it started to un unscrew. You can do it. It's been done. You know, you're getting rid of the filter. Just stab it through. So now before I loosen this more, I'm going to get the oil pan down, make sure it's down below it. This type of filter setup does make a mess. Rag here, and we'll spin her off. You can hear it dripping right into the pan right now. And we'll try to drain it right into the pan. Okay, it's going. And some on the starter. We'll get her cleaned up. Zoink. Okay. Now you can see how oil just sits in that filter housing. So that's where I'll try to sop a little bit of that up before we put the new one on. Okay, got things cleaned up. 
Again, we're using the Purelator PL14670 oil filter. And of course, let's get a little bit of clean oil on here. I've got clean oil here, so. See ya. And we'll just hand tighten it. So I can get it off again next time, remember? So 54,165 is the miles. I wrote that on there. July 2022. So what am I doing at the back here? Well, real quick, I am going to tip the car level and make sure I got all the oil out. Let's see if anything else comes out. Now, I mentioned the drain plug had a little drip on it. Well, I have a whole stash of drain plug washers for various cars. The only one that kind of fit is actually a plastic one. So, I'm going to give this a shot this time. See what happens. It's in the Dorman assortment kit you can get down at the uh, auto parts store okay drain plug going back in then with my little plastic washer on i think my honda used to have a plastic washer so question is how much do you tighten this drain nut well with the metal you can give it a good snug i'm going to play it by ear with this plastic here and I don't think I want to go hog wild on tightening it. You can always kind of check it, see what it's doing, uh, if it's you know, dripping or something like that. So now your filter's in place and your drain plug's back in. Now we got, of course, refill it with oil. I wrote down a while ago for MGB without an oil cooler, which this one does not have. Uh, it's three and a half quarts that I'll. If you have an oil cooler, I believe it's four and a half, uh, four quarts, I believe. You can check the Haynes manual and online on that one. From a previous change, I've got about three quarts left in this one. And then I'm going to add in this oil treatment, maybe half a bottle of that, and pour that in, see where it gets me in the car. Now we can check it. Forgot to show this, but I took what was in the oil pan and used my funnel to get it back into an old oil bottle. And then I'll take this down to the auto parts store that recycles the oil. So it looks like I got out a little over three quarts, which is what I put in it. Now the best part, the test drive. Now we're going to want to watch our oil pressure. There it comes up. 